Notice, you notice how when Trump was given his rundown of his uh, UK visit, how everything was about him and he's responsible for everything great that's happening. Meanwhile, nothing great is happening. <laughs> I, they, they showed a rundown of every time he mentioned me, 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 me. <laughs> Taking credit for, for lies, actually. Incredible, huh? Hey, another pattern is, I don't know if you noticed that the biggest asshole drivers are BMW drivers. Uh, every time I'm on the road, you know. Oh, it's so refreshing. I hope it stays this way. Well, I was trying to release their number to make my comments. Hey. Even, hey, even Joseph hasn't been here for a while. We kept him holding him for what? It's been quiet. He doesn't talk to anybody, and when he does, he's boring as hell. No, he, um, I don't know, he just, he's a boy. he talks at you. It's not, it's not like he talks with you. He talks like, oh, he gets upset when you criticize him, and I turn him off every time. Yeah. So the presentation is off. I'm the only one that makes him turn away, run away every time. Tell them the way it is. Well, no, others don't. So go ahead. Give your speech for nothing. I don't care. People, um, I'm tired of the word shit. Pe people, people don't respect anyone in authority that does things for free. They, they look at you like... He's not in authority. Well, whatever scientific thing he's into. <clears throat> you can't even understand him when he's. I mean, he's got the need to talk. That's what I just said. Shut up. You don't have to keep talking. Yeah. Well, you have that at home. You you don't have anybody talking at home. When you leave the house, when you come here in the morning. Where you go, you don't have to talk. But when you come here early in the morning, are there people that. I know a lot of people here in the morning. But I tell them all, you don't have to talk all the time. You know, you would be a great um, off the. Well, you ever see those off the grid shows, the isolationists that live up in Alaska? And there's, there's you know. There's I don't understand this need to keep yakking. You know what it is? It's a nervous habit. You've got to. Oh, you mean like silly idle chatter? Yes, you gotta keep going. Stop it. Stop it. You don't have to keep talking. <clears throat> you get it. You've got to go so you are a real life cone of science. Well, you, you love that for some reason, which I always hate cone of science. I think that's well, you never dumb. found it amusing. Never. Never. Don't you talk know, about yeah. nothing. What was amusing is that the chief couldn't hear Maxwell. That was the punchline. Like I care. Yeah, but you're like Andrew. You care about your jokes. But you... Not that much. I don't do it that often. No? I don't okay. keep going on. Jimmy, let's be honest. I don't go on. And what's what's and the point? Well, I know. I, I just answered my own question. Yeah. What's the point in leaving the the apartment and coming here but the, but it's a different scenery right it's Same a different thing. scenery but don't overdo it yeah why did you go to hang out like bennigan's or some people, and, and some, people oh, some people overdo it they don't know when to pull back uh, barnes and noble it's just different it's scenery like kidding kidding is a, is a uh, yeah. it's an art no one to pull back and stop. Yeah. But when you were at Barnes and Noble, you you were involved in a lot of discussions, just like Whole Foods and Ridgewood. We were all having discussions, right? A, a, an intelligent discussion can continue. When it's not, that's when you pull back and know when to stop. Yeah. And that's why I had more people come up to me and say, no. "This um, nothing." They said nothing gets by you. So this, no, it doesn't. This friend of mine, um, um, who's in a fitness. Um, well, she's actually more or less an acquaintance in the fitness industry, posted um, 
a big grievance with Facebook that guys are sending her dirty videos of them masturbating. Why are you even on Facebook? You know how I feel. End of argument. Why are you even on Facebook? I, well, because because she's a fit, she's a hard body. That's it's why. It's just a yeah. it's, it's a but it comes with the territory. If you're a female and you look great, but it's a waste. you're going to get guys doing it. It's a waste. I know. You shouldn't be on. Well, forget about social media. It could be real life. If you're a single mother well, and at least you, you're not spreading it all over the world. In real life is right. at the one location. Right. right. Like a single mother has a daughter who dressed like a hooker, a prostitute. Yeah, they don't get it. And then they get mad. When people, you know, again, back to my dad. You just can't get through to them. You can't get through to them. Yeah. They don't oh. listen. They will not listen. <clears throat> they called me. Um, what did they call me? Misogynist and this and I said, no, I'm, I'm, t I'm talking reality. Well, why do you bother with them? <clears throat> why do you bother? Well, because they're, they're like criticizing and attacking me. Well, why did you get on in the first place? Because it was an article that I had posted. Uh, don't even bother with these people. Yeah. Don't even bother. Yeah, but I don't. I don't like uh, living like my brother-in-law. I don't like living low-profile where nobody knows me. Nobody knows. Why do you nobody want has my know? opinions? Why do you want because people it's to know? nice to be in a fucking spotlight. It feels so gotta, good. It's like problem. it's like ejaculation. So you've got, a, you've got an ego problem. Because then you get groupies and fans that look up to you. You've got an ego problem. What about you and, and the man god thing? But that's that's similar. No, that's all kidding. And that's oh, I thought you were serious. <laughs> so you don't understand what's going on. I thought you were serious. You don't have a clue. I mean, that's man god. Here. But it's nice to have fans. No, it's not. It's bothersome. I've been following him enough to football in the whole, but I'm tired of it. Does my friend Jimmy Madonna have any clue whatsoever as to what's going on? Of course I have a clue. I notice everything. No. Yeah, I don't have a clue. That's why I support an honest politician. Does Jimmy just want to be noticed? Yes. Well, some can call it networking. Uh -huh. Could be a Leo thing. Am I right in just wanting to be left alone? That's how you feel. Yeah. Of course, it's how you feel. Gotta res people gotta respect. Some people love the limelight far too much. Oh, it's exhilarating. Like. Well, because you get groupies, you get fans. I don't want that. Why do you want that? Because it makes you feel like hot, like you're no, the hottest doesn't. thing since sliced bread. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> okay. It maybe makes you feel that way. No, it doesn't make you feel that way. I don't need that shit. Okay. I don't like people following me around. I didn't like when girls followed me around. Well, sure. Yeah. The players, guys, you don't you just leave me alone. Now, now, if you're like a celebrity and you got paparazzi's bothering you, I would be. Oh, me? I said, leave me alone. You're in a restaurant. Let's say you're on a date with or you, your wife. I, I quick to the punch. I call the cops. Leave me alone. I don't want to be bothered. I want privacy. They, and they do it, man. Who's, whose wedding was that where they sent drones into it? Was that Madonna's wedding? Or Paparazzi's. <laughs> sent all the drones in. Murder. It's beautiful. In its own way. You know what they you know what they call those people? They call them it's in a dictionary, they call them Pollyannas. Has anybody made a song called Let's Call a Reality What It Is? Yeah. Well Pollyanna is somebody who I love everybody. Rose, rose colored glasses. Yeah, the world is gorgeous. Yeah, great. There's no bad. You. Like the Pinocchio commercial. Like Everyone. I told my, my friends in the morning. And I, this is my belief. Story. Right. I don't believe in forgiveness. You don't forget. There's no such thing as forgiveness. Forgiveness is saying you're okay. Oh, I forgive you for kidnapping my daughter, raping her, cutting her throat, and dismembering her body. And then you, they have these stupid fucking ass cocksucking smiles. The Lord will decide his judgment. What if that happened to their children? You fucking pig. You notice that though? The old people that 
Laura will decide. Shut up, you What if it happens? What if it happened to his daughter? He's a non-human. He deserves to die. I don't believe in forgiveness, and I also don't believe in closure. And I don't believe in, in hurting animals either. Well, you know how I feel about that. Like that town in China. No, no, no. Am I right? Is forgiveness a total load of bullshit? Well, well, it means that no one is without sin. He said, I've never asked for forgiveness because I've never sinned. He's delusional. And also, Wait, do you think so, Jimmy? Quite insane. Don't <laughs> you think? Okay. I also don't like the word closure. Is closure a bunch of crap, a total load of crap? No hesitation, Jimmy. Maybe that's why liquor stores are doing so well. People want to numb the pain. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. You know, I mean... Uh... There you go. I just did a vote. Forgiveness? Closure? Fuck you. You don't know shit. So I tell people, so you're full of crap. Well, I believe, I believe in... And there's a karma. There's a there's okay. well, what goes right. around comes around. Well, I've done that many times in my home. <coughs> Watch. Does karma truly exist? <laughs> Does what goes around truly come around? There you go, Jimmy. Like those, like those scammers that ro that steal from elderly people. They call them up and rob them blind. All of it. You know, and and, and the elderly people are probably lonely, so they. Go it. That's what this is for. The elderly people are probably lonely. Now these. Don't hold bitter off your fingers. The, these scammers that call the elderly. Do they? Get personal information out of them because they know they're Jimmy, Jimmy, you're swinging already. Your finger. Oh. Don't over your finger like that. Oh, all right, I'll do it this way. That's okay. it. That's right. it. Don't move against your head. These scammers that call elderly people. I see it's not moving. That's good. To rob them. Do they do it because they know they're lonely and want someone to talk to? Okay. Do they do this as a form of exploitation? Because they know this. Hmm. Okay. So these individuals are like sociopaths. No remorse. Is that true? Okay. Well, I want to absolutely brace it. Does okay? Does oh oh? You're a smart cookie. That was moving. Does is Donald Trump one of these uh, sociopaths that feels no remorse? Yeah. And he and he gives credit. For, everything's about him. Is Donald Trump an absolute imbecile or moron? <laughs> there you go. I was listening to Governor, Republican Governor John Kasich of uh, Ohio today, and they're embarrassed. The Republican Party is like, really. Don't open your damn mouth. None of them speak up, do they? They only say so much, yeah, though. They're afraid to speak against Trump. Be a little brave, a little bit. I mean, they do, but they beat around the bush, you well, know. That's the point. Speak up. You know. That's true. As it stands right now, is the Republican Party a total world of bullshit and cowards? Look at that, Jimmy. Definitely. Clockwise. Right into it immediately. Big and a, swing. And a big swing, too. See how you get to the point with your question? Bam, bam. Well, yeah, they're, I think coward is a key word. <clears throat> you know, there's one thing to like give it's an Trump, opinion. Yeah. An awful, an awful president. Yes, right away. Yeah. See how you get right to the question? Bam. Make yeah. your point and get out.
Because in the uh, in um, the mysticism, if you if you if you say too many things, it confuses it. That's why I keep telling you, keep it short. Stop the swing when you start. You start from a dead lie, and then you go. The Republican Party of today, do they really care about what's best for the American people? No. No, it's going into a no. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I never I noticed an improvement in the swing when I once I started holding it the way you told me. You, 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 you know what you were doing? Restraining. No, okay. That's what's good. Um, is is our crazy acquaintance Eileen avoiding coming in because of what she did? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I would be embarrassed. Is our acquaintance Eileen here at McDonald's of sound mind? Is our acquaintance Eileen here? Uh, of sound, uh, uh, of sound mind. Is she of sound mind? No. no. Thank God for liquor stores. Oh. Um, that's more embarrassing than 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 being with a blow up doll. To be with that guy Ray. Now, would would it, would a blow up, <laughs> would a sex toy be a vast improvement over that? More on lunatic gray. Yes. My um my medical bill from Holy Name Hospital. Oh, my medical bill from Holy Name Hospital. Is it really over jacked up to the max? Yes. yes. All right. All right. Go ahead. Go. Go there ahead. Go. See, you're bullshit. Yeah. And they keep billing you and billing you, and they don't stop billing you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The pendulum is definitely agreeing. Definitely, without a doubt, agreeing into a beautiful clockwise swing. Look at that. I'm not moving this. Oh, there, there we have it. Um, what can I say? Just want to give a shout out to Commodore Jeff Zambella and Mick Von Raven, Ken Thiessen. Um, it's a shame that um, a certain uh, acquaintance in the fitness world is getting sexually harassed on Facebook but it's nothing nothing new because of look who's running Facebook look who owns it a man that condones scamming and spamming 24 7 also s believes in censorship when you tell the truth or just the freedom of expression, you know. So. Is, are these amulets proof that no one should ever put down dollar stores? What, wait, what was the question? Are these amulets that I have procured proof that no one should mock all dollar stores. Yeah. There you go, Jimmy. Stormy Daniels is appearing uh, at a strip club called Lace in Wayne, New Jersey, and they they just announced that on CNN. <laughs> She's probably is she. Be, it, are they paying a great deal of money to have her perform at Lace in Wayne, New Jersey? That, that figures because yeah because she's in it yeah because thanks to Donald Trump she's getting paid a lot of money 
she's gonna be may, probably writing a book too. Would, would she be? Would she eventually write a book? God, how many would read that? Really? Let's be honest. Ask it. Yes. Very many really read. I, I don't a read book books. If she wrote a book. Would, in other words, would her book? Would Stormy Daniels' book be a, a success, like a bestseller? Well, that means there's enough morons out there. No, wait, wait, let it, let it, let it establish a swing. Yes, yeah, there are, yeah, yeah, that thing is a lot. Of, there's enough morons out there; they'll, they'll buy it. If Stormy Daniels were to write a book, would it be a bestseller? No. Says they are handing the scene an investigation over to the Metro North. The accident reduced train service. Trying to bust uh, James Whether P. Madonna. Whether it's response to my friend Jimmy Madonna wrong. Yes. Okay. Were you trying to bust old James P. Madonna's chops? Right, don't make fun. No, I'm not making fun of it. I'm pissed. Were you trying to bust Jimmy Madonna's chops? No. Okay. All right. All all is forgiven and forgotten. It's ridiculous. Now, now Avenatti, her lawyer, I think, has a mega bright future. Stormy Dan, Star Stormy Daniels' lawyer, Michael Avenatti, I think his name is. Is his uh, future, his career? Before you start, Jimmy. Would his is Michael Avenatti's uh, future as an attorney be 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 skyrocket because of Stormy Daniels and Donald Trump? Yes. Well, he also is a very highly intelligent attorney too. You know, if he was some. Like like the dream team that O.J. Simpson had. Some of those guys were boring as hell. Like dream dirt. team. How about how, how, how ignorant Dershowitz? Ignorant uh, jury. It was no dream team. Remember, remember those guys that put you to sleep, Four Dershowitz. Come on. They got to look like Groucho Marx. Dream Marx. team. Dream team. No, they changed. What dream? They changed. Oh. Did they uh, change the complexion of O.J. Simpson's uh, jury on purpose? <laughs> well, that, that's a no-brainer, actually. Was the prosecution during the O.J. trial totally ignorant? Was the pro prosecution during the O.J. trial totally ignorant? Yes. That girl, she never, she never became anything. Uh, what's, what was her name? Marshall Wallace. Marsh, Marshall Wallace was her name. Well, the other guy became famous from the Manson case, uh, Bugliosi. No. No. That's if he's still alive. I, maybe I'm mispronouncing his name. There was nobody near that. It was like that black guy, Chris Darden. No, I mean the one that went after Manson and the and the oh, and again. I'm talking, we're talking about the uh, OJ. OJ trial. No, no, I meant I meant man, the Manson. Oh, Manson, now you're on. I didn't know that. Um, oh, here's here's a good one. This famous mega church TV evangelist Joel Osteen is he a fake, phony, and fraud with that big smile that never leaves his face? Yes. Well, he tells you all. He's, you know what he is? What I've been saying earlier. Everything is beautiful. Well, he's a prosperity preacher. You know, he just tells you what you want to hear. I now, like the guy, but he tells you what you want to hear. No, he never goes. Nothing is bad. But he never goes to the scripture. He just talks yes, he about does, making money. Bad. Yeah. God's going to give you favor. And then we, <laughs> you plant the seed by giving him money. Yeah, right. Okay. Oh, really? It's like, come on. Really? When, when Jimmy Swaggered was crying after he picked up the prostitutes, were those fake crocodile tears? Yeah, when he used to say, I have sinned. 
forgive me for I have sinned. And then he went out and picked up more hookers. Again, same hotel, same hotel. And guess what? People still send him money. <laughs> or or Roberts in, in, in Oklahoma had a prayer tower. Man. Hey, did all Roberts, when he went up in his prayer tower, did he really go up in his prayer tower to pray? No, no. For was others? It, was Oral Roberts, Roberts a complete and total fake? Was Oral, are right to the was Oral Roberts a complete and total fake with his prayer tower and tithing and everything? Yes. Was the, was a, uh, the Reverend Ike, oh boy, was the Reverend Ike a total fake and a fraud? But we all remember him when we were growing up. Jim Baker, Tammy Faye. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God, Tammy oh, Faye. They were legitimate. She needed more makeup, though. And longer eyelashes, too. She, she looked like a puppy. She, she looked like one of... Oh, Miss Piggy. She, my, my, didn't Miss Piggy, Piggy have Piggy long eyelashes? less makeup, Jimmy. And, Come on. But I think Miss Piggy has the long eyelashes, too. We don't know. I don't know. I, whatever suits your fancy. Who do we just ask? I want to read. Oh, oh, oh! Um, I've been seeing really good um, commercials about immunotherapy. That's why I'm on. Is immunotherapy a fantastic replacement for chemo ther therapy? For cancer therapy, what I am on now is immunotherapy. Is that a great replacement for chemotherapy? It's a very beautiful commercial on it too. Oh, the America's pharmaceutical. Where they show the animation of, of a cancer yeah, cell yeah, being yeah, destroyed. America's pharmaceutical. Yeah, yeah. See, look how big that's for. Yeah, but you have to be. I I heard you have to be a candidate. It doesn't take every form of cancer. Well, but you don't know. You try it. You see yeah. if it works. Hey, it's a lot better than what chemo does to people. Oh, that knocked the shit out of me. Knocked the shit out of you. Some people are totally just oh, devastated by it. I was devastated. Remember how exhausted yeah, I was? Thank God you didn't lose your hair. Well, a little bit I was taking the shower. Now let's uh, stop completely. Okay, here we go. Am I better off with my cancer being on immunotherapy now instead of the chemo I was on? There you go, Jimmy. Yes. There you go. Now, now you see how how important not only communication is, but what miscommunication can do. I had no idea you had that personal issue that you told me outside. What do you want to talk about? That's upsetting. No, yeah, I, I, I feel your pain. My nerves are shot. I feel your friggin' My pain. My nerves are shot. It's like, and, 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 and your friend Jackie's probably pissed off too that they're doing this to you. She's there in court now, supposedly, so we'll see what happens. Is, is, she, is she by trade a, um, a social worker? Okay. Dyfus. She's originally a Dyfus. 27 years, yeah. Oh, wow. A long time. 27 years. Oh, yeah, Dyfus is like senior protective services oh, for right. kids, right? Oh, and with my health and the whole bit, that's what I need. There's like a hole in the head. <laughs> yeah, e either you qualify for some or you don't. Oh, we're going to go bye bye? Yeah, it's 410. Eh, what the heck? Do you have any more questions you want to ask? Nah, no, not really. Not really. I just feel bad that you. you know, just for fun, and I'm saying this is just. <laughs> is my friend Jimmy overly fond of his McDonald napkins? <laughs> oh, oh. Yes. And do you know why? <laughs> but you see how you talk to it? Just for fun, I'm asking. Because they're this. durable. They don't fall apart on me. Well, but you ask it just for fun. And they're free. <laughs> no, but you ask it, you, yeah, for you, fun. You speak to it. So yeah. Just for fun. It's an honest is question. Jimmy, Overly fond of his yeah. napkins. Yeah, it's kind of, you are. You love them. I, al I also love the napkins at the Dollar Zone over the Dollar Tree. Sure, nothing wrong with that. For durability. It doesn't matter. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.